So hello everybody. Welcome to my Facebook page. Um, is it working? I hope it's working. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, welcome to my Facebook page and this is going to be our lovely Thursday. Uh, and uh, through the lovely Thursday, uh, we're going to see the potential that the star signs does have in the weeks that is coming for in regards to searching for love or in regards to current, current relationship they do have um, and we're going to check that through a spread that contains four cards hello Tawanda how are you doing hello Elizabeth uh, is the stream running well for you guys hello hello everybody thanks for joining uh, and uh, basically what this, what this spread is going to uh, uncover for us or for you, for everybody, it is just the potential. This is what you need to know. Because I read recently or just right now a comment on my, on my YouTube channel saying, uh, one girl saying, I'm really hoping for a miracle. Now, you shouldn't hope for a miracle, guys. Miracles are happening based on the conditions we create. That being said, you should create these conditions for a miracle instead of just waiting it to happen although it could happen you know while you're waiting but while we do have the time to wait it is best to start working for it all right so uh that being said about the miracles i'm now shuffling and going to aries first <clears throat> after i'm done with the um with the with the 12 star signs i will also answer a, a several questions from the auditory you know in case you cannot afford personal reading and you want your question answered that is the way how i answer your questions for free if you do uh want a personal reading guys you can check out my website tarotfrictions.net and it is there where you are going to see my services by scrolling down the front page and uh, also the prices for these services as well so now that since we get this one out of the way let's go to Aries first again hello everybody All right, so the, the spread is it goes like this. The first card it is um, the topic of, of these six days, that uh, Thursday to Thursday, for the representative star sign. And uh, as more is Aries Moon, for example, she should listen to that kind of a prediction and apply it for her emotional state during these four, uh, <clears throat> during these um, six days as well. All right, so the first card it is about the general topic. The second card is about the challenges that the star sign will have during the during a particular week. One second, guys, this this stream is really annoying me right now, or how the stream runs here. So one second. So the second card is going to be, as I said, the challenges. The third card is going to be past influence, which will take place and we can use it or we may not use it. Depends on what kind of influence that is going to be. Uh, we decide for ourselves, obviously. Uh, that could be, for example, a past lover coming into our lives. And if uh, we do want to have something to do with that lover again, well, we are welcome to go for it, you know, but not everybody will want to make a reconciliation, you know. So that being said, uh, obviously, if you don't want to make a reconciliation, then we are welcome to go. All right. So, yeah, obviously, if you don't want to make a reconciliation, then you won't going to go for it. So basically, the third card is something like, you know, what we can go for and what may you may not go for. That is something from your past, you know, it's res it's a result from your past. And the last card is going to be the future conditions. All right, future conditions is not the final outcome. 
future conditions and future circumstances are something that will influence your relationship life in the future all right so you can see how you're gonna get from here to there through the challenges and through utilizing whatever you have on your plate as a result of your previous actions oh hello donna thank you for calling me that i hope it's not a compliment <laughs> you know and you are speaking the truth all right so aries first card five of wands this is what we do have for you guys this is the card of five well five usually in the numerology is a chain is is the number of change all right and also in tarot card every fifth card or, or kind of like every card that resembles five it's a change except the hierophant card well it is also a change but a little bit different sometimes i'm going to talk about it but not right now so that will be a week of changes for you aries says in and then we do have the higher fund. Okay, so double five. Anyway, it, it will be a week of uh, it will be a week of changes in regards to your personal plan. Now, the second one, as we said, that will be the higher fund, which is the challenges that you need to overcome. And only from these two, I can say is that in regards to your personal and relationship life, you are about to break outside of I am um, outside of the box or outside of your current code of conduit that being said you can add new criteria into your into your um you know standard of what one should be next to you when it comes to a relationship you know or you can make new obligations to your partner or to your husband or that depends on your personal situation but let's see the next two cards past influence that will have a um effect of, upon your uh, relationship life during this week that will be the two of wands and the last one is the future influence which is the um nine of wands so uh, this four cards affect more those who are single aries now that's why i will start first with those which are into a relationship aries which are in relationship now for aries which are in relationship it will happen just that you will have more control upon the relationship it is because you have fulfilled something recently that your partner asked and this is why they owe you something they owe you a favor or they owe you good behavior etc etc and that's why you have the control over there and the challenge is going to be what you can use that control for or how much you can push it all right how much you can push your trust how much you can push your luck as well etc etc so pretty much you're gonna have it in your pocket here Aries is regarding to your relationship and you can do whatever you want to especially with the nine of wands in your case does speaks for being able to do conscious changes which means that you can restructure your relationship regarding or in in face of your own personal image but those which are single during that particular week then they will have a lot of um, around turns into their uh, romantic life which may speaks for uh, a lot of enterprise um empathizement with people all right and especially with potential candidates so what will be the challenge here is really to see through your criteria, as I said, now we do have the hierophant here or through your code of conduit and start thinking outside of it. Because the two of wands here as a past influence into one relationship does express the aggression of that, that one wants to be into, uh, into one relationship and especially as you are Aries and you are quite aggressive and tenacious that means guys that there will in case someone enthralls you during that week uh, you will simply not care about uh, their negative sides and that that is a, a good thing for you and even if uh, that that's the best thing about this reading uh, aries is that even if this week you don't find anybody which really enthralls you and give, makes you an impression. The nine of wands for a future influence, it does speaks for a, um, how can I place it? A fusion. It does speaks for a fusion in between two souls in private life. 
okay one child from seeking now it's it's already on the verge of its its, its goal coming true <clears throat> all right the final straight line before the finish so that being said nonetheless you sing a very says as a result of that particular week uh either through your actions or through that you have meet met somebody all right um you are going to actually have someone next to you to make a relationship with in the future usually a tarot card is for a tarot card reading is for within six months that being said said for the next six months should you make it or break it Aries? now that is entirely entirely your choice again we're talking here about possibilities not for something that is uh, craved in stones so for Aries, i can seriously uh ask them to be more open-minded and uh the five of wands especially here for you aries uh, those which are single aries is it does speaks for internal battle it is not about external one okay you're not gonna fight with other people or you are not gonna fight with your boyfriend or girlfriend all right it's just you're gonna find with your fight excuse me with yourself so you can over overrule a uh criterias you may find outdated and that they serve no one's no one purpose any longer all right so that was for Aries. now going to taurus hello everybody hello uh by the way again want to say that at the end of the stream or rather after i'm done with pisces i'm going to start answering questions from the auditory which are written down here in the comments after the Pisces is done. No other question, no question that is given before Pisces is done um, is going to be taken under consideration. So hold your horses, guys, and have patience. This is the way how you get me to answer your questions for free. But in case you don't want to take your chances with that, because not every, questions will be, not every question will be answered. Otherwise, we're going to stay here all night. Uh, you can... Go and see my services, my website, you know, and have a private reading with me. So now Taurus is now the first card that will be the Empress regarding your um, personal life here. Then is the Hangman as a challenge. Now we do have the topic in the Hangman as a challenge. Uh, past influence, Magician card. And then uh, future influence, that will be the Devil card. And as I said at the start of the stream, waiting for a miracle to happen, it is what you are going to do, Taurus, during this particular week. Waiting for a, a miracle to happen. Why? We do have the hangman into a, a second position saying challenges. Now, the hangman as a challenges means that the, the, uh, the week is going to be for you stand still, which means that not much things are going to happen regarding to your uh, private relationship life. Giving you an example straight away, uh, especially those which were single or which are single, they have, let's say that you today was the day where you have met that really awesome woman or really awesome guy and you exchange phone numbers and probably you are biased that they are going to call you straight away tomorrow, scheduling a date. Well, I don't think it's going to happen during this week. All right. It will happen, but not during this week. So. That being said, this week is highly advisable, guys, to uh, start indulging yourself with uh, rather the, um, I don't know, the blessings of your life, uh, which are outside relationship, personal life, or which are outside of the um, specter being dependent on somebody. Because the relationship it is what it is, is being dependent. Love is, be, is uh, in its nature, is about being dependent. What you need to do during that week, Aries, in order to feel yourself not just only happy, but also uh, productive, fulfilled, and, uh, you know, um, like above average of um, emotional stability is to 
uh, how can I place it? Is to be independent, which means, at least in my personal dictionary here, is that we, if we cannot indulge or enjoy something on our own, then it's it's kind of like a, it, it's pointless to attend into it. That being said, into your relationship, it is very important to uh, make a, a crucial an analyzation there why you are with your partner or rather why your partner is with you i mean i know why you are with your partner it is because you love them now that this is engraved here with the empress but why your partner is with you do you know that are you sure that they love you this is the question you need to ask yourself because we have a magician for a past um influence and past the as a past influence the magician is very strong about being with a person who likes you for what you are all right so especially for the uh very young relationships that you you got to define that is your partner with you for your money is your partner with you because you have a great body but in the same time they are not giving two shits about how you feel and as well, you know, how how you take on stuff. Are they giving you the unconditional support you require, etc., etc. And why you need to do that, guys, is because we have the devil as a future influence. And the devil as a future influence does point that you are going to get what you want one way or another. That is inevitable. But because it is the devil card for some, it's going to be just because they realize that they don't want it. All right. So it's, it will be kind of like a uh, that kind of blessing that comes from uh from God because sometimes things comes in our way I, I mean we get our our wishes fulfilled just so we can realize that we don't want that and uh, that it is not our way basically so that's why this week has to be a week of uh, crucial deliberations so you can comprehend on the on the true reason why you are in that kind of a relationship, you know, in case you are in such. And as I said, for those singles, just uh, to repeat myself, for those who just entered in the stream for Taurus, is that this this week is not going to be um, with a much of a movement, but you gotta do the same thing, you know, um, why you wanna be with someone or kind of like figure it out, out for yourself or as well. Is there is someone around you that you are ready to accept for what they are? And if if it doesn't, then uh, it will be very advisable for you to change your social circle so you can find another people. Because let's face it, guys, um, while waiting for a miracle, um, if someone comes and knock on your door without you knowing them and they say, look, I have been predicted that I will meet you, that would be a god damn miracle doesn't it but it's not gonna happen I, if you want to meet someone you have to start dating there is no other way around it <laughs> so uh, yeah instead of waiting it to happen it will be best to force it to happen all right so that was for Taurus. now going to gemini Gemini's Queen of Pentacles is the topic of your week. Then we do have challenges, which is the star card. We're talking about reconciliation. That is going to be a week where you're going to have the chance to do it. So, all right. So those which are hoping that the X is going to come or they will have a chance to make something with the X. This is the opportunity here you're waiting for. Then we do have the Emperor card, which is the past influence. And uh, the Six of Pentacles is the future influence, which is a, a typical combination of a four cards that the things does happen, but with a, a severe compromise. Now, what happens here, guys, is it, it's coming from the past influence, the Emperor, and it does says that this relationship you do had, which can be reconciled right now, 
was a stifling one and that it doesn't have to regard only to the near future as well it could regard to a uh, near past excuse me that could regard to a past let's say 10 years ago um, let's say 10 years ago you had either a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend etc you know and, and they really had control upon your life or you did have a control upon their lives and it is why the relationship ended now you end them uh, due to that week probably will get in touch with one another or you will have something that resembles them and then you may want to have that urge to contact them and when you contact them then the reading takes place and what happens is that you start without even you knowing it on a, on a jokes you know on a, a foundation of jokes because in my country we do have that um, that kind of a sentence you know let's joke with one another so we can say the truth to our another so through jokes it's kind of like it will become clear that you may try it again all right it, it is kind of like you still have what to consume from a relationship from between one another and what happens here Taurus is that um, star card challenges there will be a lot of things on your way in order to do so probably the distance it could be that this person is in another state in case you are in the United States in another country if you are in Europe in Europe etc etc they could be already married but they have thinking about you ever since etc and there will be those kind of uh, um, obstacles which will obstruct the thing to happen straight away so you need to have a lot of patience and as well six of pentacles here does points that it will happen in the future somewhere in the future within the next six months have the chance to happen through a a very big compromise from one of the party it is from one of the party not from the both of you that being said you both have to be strong otherwise if the one who needs to make the compromise is weak then this ain't gonna happen and uh, basically this is what is for gemini so um again you totally have the choice to do it or not to do it if you don't want to have anything with that um, ex anymore so let's say you are happily married and it suddenly out of nowhere an ex of yours it's, it's jumping out and uh, yeah you feel bad about it you think that you had uh, you have still a future with them you don't want to jeopardize your family you totally doesn't have to go for it for it you can just tell them to stay away they're going to stay away and that that will be that but for those who really want to do it so um it will take a toils but not impossible so be on a watch out for a next coming around well Karen that depends on you they could be either 10 20 30 minutes or one hour well we can go as long as you like you know or or you mean how long it takes well usually for a 10 minutes it takes like a, a couple of questions you know well it depends sometimes a couple of questions takes one hour it depends how much the person wants to know about the topic because i don't like to store time when it comes to private reading all right and um, i basically get straight to the point without um without saying any things which does not concern directly the question so let's say um you care and ask i don't know you ask something like will will i meet somebody and i will see and tell you will you meet somebody in the next six months or within the next six years uh six uh one year excuse me but um uh, additional info it is only if you ask about it so i don't like to store time telling you what kind of a great person is going to be you know etc etc and what you need to fix with yourself if you ask me what you need to fix with yourself to be uh to meet someone someone or to speed up the process i will tell you that but if you don't i won't 
So I get straight to the point. That's why you can uh, you can get the answer to a lot of questions. But one thing I need to warn you though, I don't hold hands during the readings. I am not the one who is compassionate. I am like a I am like a, a psychotherapist, all right, or like a medical doctor. Or no, I'm not like a psychotherapist. The psychotherapist holds your hand. That's not my job. My job is to tell this to give you an information or to tell you the truths revealed by the tarot cards. And truth has only one face, whether you like it or not. It has only one face. It has only one way to be said. If, for example, a partner of some of someone is cheating, the way to say it is your partner is cheating on you. There is no other way to say it, you know, or if you're going to lose your job, that's the way to say it. You're going to lose your job. Well, the, the tarot cards kind of give you that kind of a, a exact things because will you going to use your job or will you not going to lose your job? That depends entirely on you, but they can tell you the probabilities and on what kind of a conditions you may lose your job if you go along the way. So you can pretty much use one tarot reading to avoid these kind of circumstances. Well, Tawanda, the website is tarotpredictions.net. I think it's written here in the description of the video. If my staff have a, um, edited the post. Yeah, yeah, that is Jackie. So Jackie wrote it down and we go to Gemini seven of cups. It is what we start with Gemini. And then the next one is the hangman. Now this is even more uh, heavier than I think it was with a, um, with Taurus. Then we do have the four of pentacles, which is the past influence. Oh, hello, Karen. Hello. Now that should be like a morning there, like 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. on 5th. All right, so uh, no, the yeah, item fifth, and the future influence that will be the Hierophant card. Now this is a, a guidance reading for you, Cancers, rather than a prediction one, and this reading ha only says that your expectations are quite celluloid. And it, it, I'm sorry that I'm saying it, but if you go along with those kind of expectations for what one needs to be around you, like a, a person, like a girlfriend or a boy boyfriend, you know. I am afraid that you will not be able to meet such a guy or a girl. It is because you cancers are striving for perfection. And this is seen here with these couple of cards coming in as a past and future influence, all right? And you stray for perfection that the person around you has to be, you know, the one who is perfect for you. And you now, because um, the law of game is a game of giving and taking. And if you do have the perfect person, you don't have the necessity to give and take. Even there was one, um, uh, you know, one song of uh, Phil Collins, you know, uh, love is about a game of giving and taking. And, and that is the truth here, guys. There will not be any thrill. There won't be, uh, there won't be any uh, enterprises. There won't be any surprises into one relationship in case you get the one that is exactly perfect for you. Now, that being said, uh, this week will be very good if you will be able to distinguish the fiction from facts, if you will be capable to ground yourself from the celluloid expectations that you do have from people around you. Because I have been with some women that are expecting me to read their mind, knowing what they want to tell me with only a presumptions. I don't presume. I hate to presume. If I want to know something or if you want to tell me something, tell, tell it straight away so I can understand it. You know, presumptions for me is something that is a sure way to break one relationship. And it is what happens with me, you know. So you can never find the, 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 the perfect person, but you can definitely find the one that matches with your soul. And this isn't about being on the same page on everything that you are. Um, in interested in you know you still have the differences but by the um about 
by you being able to connect on a soul level, then uh, the differences can be uh, as well overruled, you know, and, and, and they can be pretty much overwhelmed. Because the differences then is going to be something that amuses you, something that brings versatility into your relationship, something that you are looking forward to experience, you know, um, I, and, and it's, it will be what makes happiness into your relationship. Because one through a relationship, it is not about the similarities, guys, for, at least for me. Okay. One relationship is when the differences makes you special for one another. Because we got differences here, you know, a crescent and then we have a half, bam, one hole. When you have two hubs, they only mash to one another. No. So similarities, too much similarities, bad things. But if you are able to combine again the differences, then you are going to be special to one another. So that was the point here for cancer, all right? Seek the person who is not exactly your mirror, all right? But seek the one which differences you can uh, accept. Oh my God. <coughs> Excuse me. No, oh, I sneezed. Sneeze a lot. All right, so... That was for cancer and that goes for your relationship, current one. Uh, for example, you can be in a very bad spot in your current relationship, you know, right now and you're seriously aggravated by your partner. And that reading should make you consider, you know, can I really go with those differences that my partner has or rather like, you know, can I accept them and make something happen with them? Because you will never face, you will, if you want to marry for someone that it is exactly like you, well, I hope in your country they uh, approve a law that you can marry for yourself. Because otherwise, I don't see how it's going to happen. There is not such a person that is exactly like you because we are unique. Our DNA is unique. You know, everything is unique about us. Oh, oh my God, that was quite of a sneeze. So now going to Leo. And this is kind of a question that Julia asked right now. Should I and my partner move to a new hometown? Uh, to a new hometown? That uh, to me they are not stupid because there are there are no stupid questions. There are stupid answers, and I will answer to Julia straight away. Maybe only for astrology, there is a relevance where you are living for tarot, numerology. Oracle readings as well, although I don't do oracle readings, but it's pretty much about cards, you know. Uh, Lenormand as well readings. Uh, locations are irrelevant, Julia. If you're meant to be happy, you're going to be regardless of where you're finding yourself at. If you're meant to be rich, like a money rich, you're going to be regardless of where you are, what you're working, whom you're working with, etc., etc. So do, do what you think is best, all right? It's not an allergy, Julie. Judy. It's not an allergy. Uh, allergy. It's uh, it's just a random sneeze, and the OBS died. Okay, so it's reconnected. Anyway, so Leo, Queen of Wands is your first card, marking up the topic of the week, of your romantic week. Then we do have the Two of Pentacles, which comes as a challenge here. <clears throat> and that will be the Nine of Swords, past influence. And then we do have the Tower card as a, a future influence for you. Now you have to be very careful here during this week. 
and uh, they, these cards are pointing that you may be in, um, how can I say it? You may involve yourself with a person not because you like them, not because you love them, but because you commiserate them, all right? Because you empathize them and because you're feeling pity for, um, for their state, because you don't want to hurt them. And uh, this is all what these cards are talking about. And even if, you're, even if we're talking about a current relationship, guys, uh, just because, you, you know, your partner may uh, up const uh, constrain you doing something uh, out of pity. I don't know how to explain it really. So I will give you one an example here. Um, let's say you want to go to fish uh, on a fishing or you want to go and spend the night with, uh, with friends in the pub, drinking beers, etc. And your partner could uh, make you quite of a show with tears and with, with, with threats as well, you know, that is going to leave you if you do it. How can you do this? Uh, am I not important for you? We all know the, the drill here, right? Uh, we all know how it is taking advantage of your kind emotions and of, of the um, the feelings of your heart. So uh, what these cards are pointing here is to be very aware of uh, your how can I say it? Very aware of uh, of where you stand into one relationship, or rather, you sh you need to have that acute sense how you stand and where you stand in. And uh, then we do have here the Nine of Swords, a very crucial card. All right, Nine of Swords does points that you do have an obligation, but this obligation should be paid only on a uh, meaningful things and what this is gonna force it's a um, transformation now the tower card it's about a purge in this particular case or like a, a final outcome it's a, a purge a purge of uh, negativity through negativity so it's kind of like killing fire with fire or fighting fire with fire all right, and it is very likely that into your relationship um, uh, there will be a, a new set of rules placed. Well, Rwanda the fourth haven't started yet. <laughs> I don't know how, how you how you said it, it isn't real, but uh, you know the week haven't started yet for your personal relationship. How do how do you know you are something like a clairvoyance? I don't know, it's still for, it's, I mean, Europe just, it's, it's for two hours ago, so I don't know. It should be third where you are in case you are in the United States. And um, anyway, so uh, yeah, and again, this is just a potential. So what was I about to say is that you should not give yourself um, uh, or you should not allow people to expose your weakness in a sense that uh, no, Lulu, I want to explain myself. I mean, it, it's, in in such cases, anyway. So uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like people. What my point here, Leo, is is that you are going to uh, or people will try to take advantage of your kindness or like your obligation to them. Um, you shouldn't, or at least in my opinion, in looking at these cards, you should not uh, play by their rules. And although it's going to, um, and although it's going to uh, force some um, some contractions there, it's going to force some havoc as well. This havoc is going to be the new order that that starts happening. All right, and it's very likely that at this particular havoc, you are either make it or break it into one relationship. It is very likely that a lot of things will come as well on the surface through the through the havoc and through the chaos. But it it, it is important here to realize that once you uh, show weakness. People always will take advantage of that weakness. It is, it is just how it goes, you know. And this is something I, uh, I found out the, the hard way, guys, you know. Um, I was loaning or kind of like giving money to a friend of mine, you know, just on a loan. And they have returning them to me <clears throat> uh, for a prolonged period of time, etc., etc. And one day I refused. And since that day... 
they never called me back for have a coffee, for just seeing each other, et cetera, et cetera. Before that, they were always call, calling. So it's kind of like, you know, people take advantage of your weakness. So uh, that was the bottom line here, Leo. Either you are into one relationship, and especially if you are not into a relationship, don't force one or don't go into one just because you're feeling pity for that person and you want to make them feel better. And it's kind of like in the movies, you know, um, let's say you don't want to have anything to do with that kind of a person, but they are saying, I'm going to kill myself, you know, I'm going to swallow pills, uh, or my father died right now, how can you do this, blah, blah, blah. Well, as uh, because I'm a gamer, as the Kratos, the God of War says, our fate, uh, others fate is not our concern. Our concern is only the fate of the one we love. So if you don't love anybody, their fate is not your concern. Or at least this is what I think. All right, so now uh, going to Virgo. Well, Sarita, I'm very sorry for the diagnosis, but I don't discuss medical issues or kind of like, you know, medical questions. So uh, Virgos, we have your card here as a topic that is going to be the Hermit. The Hermit is the card of the Vir of Virgo into Tarot. Then is the Judgment. So a very strong week uh, emotional wise for Virgo because this week Virgos are going to uh, go into a seclusion, inner seclusion, what I mean. I mean, people around you may not realize, you know, but you will start thinking about what you feel. And that will be a serious thought, serious deliberations, Virgos, of what you feel and most likely are your feelings fulfilled do you feel what you have imagined to feel especially if you are into your into a relationship all right is those feelings real all right these couple of cards point for a big initiation coming in but not into this week guys this is uh, the initiation or rather like the new direction of your life because the judgment card points that there is a, a third option for you. Because if you're into one relationship, the options are leaving it and continuing it on forward. The judgment says that there is a, a third option for you that is going to be revealed for you later on into the future, probably in the next month or two, all right? But not right now. Right now, you need to deliberate on how true your emotions are if you are in relationship or if you aren't in relationship same things uh, applies here because even if you are not into a relationship then we do have emotions you know uh, that we want to be fulfilled and this is what you need to do deliberate on what kind of emotions you want to be fulfilled past influences is what we do have the full card and the full card shows um, unaffectedness in a sense of being carefree and in a sense of being following, um, how can I place it? Following a certain goal without even caring how that goal can, can turn out. So what that card clearly here really express is that you Virgo need to continue on being uh, carefree, acting spontaneously and do not holding anything back when you have to express yourself in front of somebody but it is very clearly that before you express yourself into somebody you are and you should continue on putting the deliberations required of what you truly feel for that person and then we do have the wheel of fortune here as a future influence 
and your waiting is going to be rewarded. All right, so uh, what we have for Virgo here with these four cards is that Virgo, instead of jumping into a, a adventures that will only make them, you know, being with somebody, for example, uh, without them even loving that person, but just for, only for the idea of being with somebody because they are kind of like sick to being alone. Uh, it's not something they're going to go for. And uh, they are dedication to the cause of being with someone that will be um will be the one they believe is the one is going to pay off because the wheel of fortune at the end of the future influence points that you will have your miracle or rather like you're gonna have that chance you're waiting to be with such a person now what you're gonna do with it that depends entirely on you what i can tell you with the wheel of fortune is that it comes out of nowhere it catches you but but by surprise and you need to have that acute awareness of that it is real it is there and it is yours to take it because sometimes people start thinking oh my god it is way too good to be true and want to uh by the time they comprehend it it's 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 over done it's no it's no longer there so you virgo this week even if you are in relationship or you are outside of a relationship it is it will be best guys to spend more time on your own so you can refine and define the emotions you have and what kind of emotions you want to be uh fulfilled because the judgment is pointing, as I said, that our big event is coming. It's, it's kind of like a wake-up call that is going to come. Some relationship may fall apart, you know, uh, some relationship could be rebuilt. And under falling apart, I mean that it's going to be in your benefit. So if you don't want the, your relationship to fall apart, then it won't going to fall apart. But if you are waiting that the relationship will fall apart so you can escape it because your girlfriend or a boyfriend is holding you with something, then this is what's going to happen. But you need to have the mental awareness about it. And when it starts happening, you need to be there to capitalize on the opportunity. Well, Judith, headaches diminished a long time ago uh, when Nelly made me the uh, the banishing of the negative uh, ne uh, uh, the negative energy, you know, banishing negativity. Nelly, that it is on the website, and uh, yeah, basically there were some energetic attacks, let's say, against me and. Uh, It is how it's happened. All right, so uh, now we are to Libra. And someone say, drink water. Cheers. Well, for Libras, the news is going to be not that great because we do have the Three of Swords here as a, um, the topic of the week. And then we do have the World card. So that could be a breakup. Damn it. That could be really a breakup. Or it could be just that you have to deliver the bad news into someone that you don't want to have anything to do with them any longer. All right. Then is the Devil card, which is the past influence in the devil card that speaks that this was the result of all the tension that is gathering in between you and that person libra and the fourth card is the seven of wands here with uh with a future influence so uh even if uh, that is uh, about a stalker in a sense of that um let's say it's someone that uh, is trying to to make impression on you so they can be with you 
you deny them. You you say no, I don't want to be with you. Well, they then they obviously don't get no for an answer. That is a bad thing. Is you need to you will have to guys continue on making a, a preparations rather like a, a guarding your personal space. And this is because you liberals are quite milder here with the world card. So uh, if you want to deliver that kind of a news, saying no, we ain't going to be with each other any longer. You got to do it straight away, straight into the face, you know, in a cutting manner. Because these people, the one that are uh, with you right now, that you don't want to be with them, they, uh, they, they basically, as I said, they don't take, take no for an answer. That may not be as well your boyfriend, you know, it could be someone, um, it could be a third party that is trying to bring down your relationship because... They want to be with you and um, they are making those surreptitious texts towards you like you know texting you unpleasant things etc etc how much they love you all these kind of bullshit why we don't want to have their text so what you need to do is drastic decisions and drastic measures kind of like calling your mobile operator saying that you are harassed or to the police as well uh, or you just talk with them and say i don't want you i don't want to hear you anymore block their number you know uh but the point of that reading for you libras is that um you don't have to hold anything and uh when it comes to anything we're talking about facts here not about emotions and it could go as well vice versa it could be that you want to be with somebody but it just you don't know how to say it well, you have to say it somewhat, somehow, you know. So that, that particular week here is going to be, uh, it's going to be about speaking the truth. No matter how hard it is and no matter how painful it is, you liberals are going to either find what the truth is about your relationship or about the person you are after, or you will have to say a truth that the person next to you or the person that you are after doesn't know about you regardless of how difficult it's going to be for you to say it and regardless of how difficult it's going to be uh, for you to to take on it so that being said again but but look this reading as well could be taken very positively now that i think about it well, that really depends on the question, because on the on a question, will my relationship fall apart? Uh, these cards are saying no, because the, the three of swords in the world card as a challenge or as a challenge points that there is nothing on this world that can make you go away or there is nothing on this world that can make your partner go away. You know, you can say that you cheat on your partner with three people that they will either not believe you or they will forgive you somehow, you know. So it could be in a quite positive, uh, in a quite positive light here with these three of swords, saying that uh, in a conjunction with the world card, saying that you know, no matter how tough information or how tough truth you are going to reveal to this person, um, they will still not abandon you. All right, so the next one, that will be the Scorpio. One second, guys. So let's see what's about us, eh? Well, we have the devil card um, at the start here. Let 
all right so a feedback that i have been right <laughs> all right anyway so uh yeah the the uh the devil card here is the topic of our week scorpios then we do have the eight of cups as a challenge high priestess is a past influence now that is getting quite interesting here ten of pentacles is a future influence what happens here guys is that we are gonna make it work all right with these cards especially influencing about a, a troublesome relationship at that particular time we are going to make it work regardless of how uncomfortable it is at the moment you know regardless of how unsatisfiable it is because we do have the eight of cups as a card of challenges and eight of cups does points that right now no matter how much we invest we cannot get it the way we want to get it all right or it, it, it doesn't happen the way we are imagining to happen so our imagination is quite all uh of the material world all right uh, and i will give you a quick exa example of that you're imagining that your partner is going to react on a statement of yours in a certain way like they're going to accept you back instead of their outrage you know something totally different to what you are uh, have expected but because we do have the ten of pentacles and the high priestess here as a past and future influence it does speaks that uh, you will be able to stabilize and manage the crisis in your private life and as we do have the devil card as a topic of your week the devil card here speaks that you are going to obtain the power to to uh, to alter the outcome of either your single life or either your relationship life now for the single life what means the power to alter your outcome well that means that you are going to make a big impression and you're going to enter all somebody all right for a, a current relationship it may mean future um, um, fortunate excuse me events which are going to make you the shot color over there and you may say no we ain't gonna break and we you won't gonna break <clears throat> anyway so that being said what happens afterwards guys is that you and your partner in case you are in relationship will start getting more and more personal independence in the relationship which means that you will not have that kind of a, a points of tension or kind of like yeah points of tension it is it is uh, what i want to say so you will have the reasons to fight for less and less things which is awesome that being said however the ten of pentacles is also about being in a relationship for benefits rather than for love being in a relationship for that you trust your partner than for you love your partner and this is um kind of like the mature relationship you know i had one co-worker of mine who were drinking way too much to be honest it's kind of like he was drinking like a liter and a half every evening and uh, uh raki and uh, rakia is a um <clears throat> our native drink and it is very very strong i mean it is more it is stronger than whiskey <laughs> and he was drinking liter and a half every evening and, and this is why he said you know love is the first half year uh, the first couple of years afterwards it's it's mutual trust basically and kids probably if you do have any so uh, that being said, this is how the relationship will start traversing from the one that is making your stomach turn over and you feel butterflies in it to a, a relationship where you're going to feel safe and secure going back home after work. Uh, and if, if this is what you want, then that week, guys, I can advise you to take full leverage of uh, the whatever circumstances happening here that will give you the power to alter the outcomes into the relationship you need to know that with the past influence here with the uh, the high priestess in current relationship it does mean that you and that person are bonded more than just a, a material plane so even though the relationship will tra traverse more to the material matter there will be still emotional connection in between you and that person <clears throat> so uh what happens however for those who are single well as i said you're gonna enthrall somebody or uh you know you have the chance to be connected with someone now unfortunately that connection is not gonna go way too far guys because uh 
you are still connected into somebody else all right and this is just going to be a painkiller okay so it's kind of like let's say that you recently have uh, broken uh with your relationship and this is going to be a substitute that person you are going to use you have the chance excuse me to use as a substitute to that relationship um it's not going to work out very well for what it seems although uh it does look like that you will remain friends after the substitute is over so it's kind of like friends with benefits for now single scorpios that you do have a chance to create through that relationship one second guys Oh, hello, Beth. How are you doing? So from Scorpio going into Sagittarius. not a bad start not at all with the wheel of fortune it does look like that you will have your chances here during this week and the empress it is what we do have as their challenges um moon card is a past influence and then uh two of wands is a future influence for you sagittarius so what happens here is that as i said you will have your chances the problem is that you are not going to feel very comfortable taking on those chances why i cannot tell you really why it does depend on your personal previous situation of what you have been left with anyway uh these couple of cards here does speaks guys that uh you have to approach it maturely so uh let me define it maturely in a sense that um you gotta seek for comfort or you gotta seek for your own personal comfort that is about being mature and as we said about i think it was leo all right that you should not invest yourself just because you feel commiserations about somebody it still applies for you here guys taking on your chances despite that they are not going to be liked by somebody that could be very well uh you know given as an, an example here that there are two suitors of your behalf that are trying to be with you just do, just do, just because you don't want to hurt anybody you you choose neither and the result of all that is what you hurt yourself depriving yourself of being happy into one relationship so if you have that opportunity to choose from two people just make your damn choice they are waiting for you and you're also making a favor to the one you don't choose by stop wasting their time so uh this is basically the topic of the week here about choice and it will be really uh, difficult to be made should i take the opportunity should i not take it what will be the consequences of it you know uh, but in order for you to take that choice here which is going to be given to you it is it is a matter of personal detachment in a sense of that uh before you decide what to do it is very important to stop investing into that or kind of like stop being in presence into that situation for example with the two people that i said to you before you make the choice stop communicating with them for a couple of days maybe for the entire week so you are very true with your emotions whom you want to uh be with and you don't allow anybody of them to uh manipulate you in any way so yeah personal detachment in order to uh, to define which choice is the most mature one will be required here and as well for what it seems 
Uh, we do have the two of wands as a future influence. Uh, this is uh, it's described here now. The two of wands as a future influence speaks for kind of an aggression to want to have something right now in this very moment, which, by the way, speaks very good in your case, Sagittarius. It does speak that you're going to be pleased uh, in many ways when it comes to the relationship. You know, when you say, I want this, and your partner will be scampering and being frantic about fulfilling it awesome now for those which are single uh it will happen that way now make sure you don't uh abuse it way too often now for those which are in relationships same thing goes guys that could be an approach that you're gonna have from your partner asking you to do something before you decide should you do it or not do it detach from your partner and from the idea itself so don't allow anybody to speak about it, but you in the same time deliberate on that particular uh, idea and at the end give your uh, verdict. Well then, for what it seems, Kathleen, uh, you have a compromise to make. You will want something from your husband. Your husband will want something from you. I see it as a win-win situation. It's just you got to be mature about it. And consider it as a, uh, let's say, exchange of favors. Well, Caitlin, you are a lucky one then, I guess, <laughs> having to choose from two. Some people does not have that kind of a choice. Some people does not have a choice at all. So, yeah, having the, uh, having the right to choose is the biggest freedom in this world, in this universe, I think. Anyway, so Capricorn Strength Card. It is uh, the, <clears throat> excuse me, it is the topic of your romantic week. Then we do have the King of Cups, which is the challenges that you need to overcome. And this is a, a straight uh, st uh, uh, test, excuse me, test of patience. Someone will annoy you very much. All right. And I will speak about that. Just let me turn the next couple of cups. Past influence future influence so queen of cups and queen of swords all right so from queen of cups you become a queen of swords going through the strength card because of the uh king of cups so what happens here for you capricorns is that uh you expect let, let me tell you that you expect someone uh, probably your boyfriend or a husband you know or your wife or a girlfriend depends what kind of gender you are or are you in a relationship or not to behave in a certain way and they totally want to go in, want to go going to behave that way so it's kind of like uh, well this happens in the results of that you thought that you deserve it all right so kind of, oh, well it's difficult for me to explain it but um yeah, you, you, you think that you deserve that they behave in a certain way that you are uh, expecting them to do, but they basically don't think that on their behalf. Uh, what happens here is that you need to show your strength of patience or rather like, well, I can, I can say accept them for what they are and not entirely, all right, because we do have the, uh, the Queen of Swords at the end. And this is about building up attention here. Um, Tension in the sense of that the, the, the drops are falling into the glass, into the glass, and at a certain point, uh, the glass is going to overflow. So when the last drop is spilled, what happens is that the Queen of Swords takes place. And when the Queen of Swords takes place, you are seriously going to confront either your partner or your, you know, your husband or a wife, or the person of interest. And you're going to say to them, look, man, what, what the hell we are doing? All right. Where are we going toward? 
So it's going to be a breaking point, no, not break a point, but a breaking point in the sense of that afterwards, you definitely going to know where you're going to. For some, it's going to be outside of one relationship. For others, it's going to be uh, strengthening and quenching one relationship. You know, for others, it will be a new relationship. And for fourths, it's going to be a denial. Anyway, the point here is, guys, uh, that um, basically, well, what, what was I about to say? You have been forced to do it, all right? Because you show a kindness, and this is um, undisputable with uh, the Queen of Cups, and you expect the same kindness to be returned. Unfortunately, that person either of interest or uh, the person that is next to you, it's uh, it's not acting the way you are acting. So it's kind of like there is no uh, flow of exchange. <clears throat> Well, Lisa, like I said, if you wait a potential mate to bump on accident, it is very unlikely to happen. If you want a potential mate, then go out and start dating. There is a, a numerous ways of how you can do it. You can use dating sites. Uh, if you are living into America, I know that there is these blitz datings, etc., etc. You can go out in a, in a discos and pubs with your friends, and there you can meet somebody. You know, sitting in your home, it's not gonna cut it through. Nobody will come and knock on your door. That being said, Lisa, with these cards, uh, why with these cards? In case, in your case, uh you may realize that there is actually a mate around you it is just you don't seeing it because it's it doesn't fill up your expectations of physical criteria but emotional criteria totally so yeah pretty much that cuts it for uh <clears throat> Yeah, he, he ain't gonna fall from the sky, you know. <laughs> the storks ain't gonna bring it, like they bring babies, for example. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, pretty much this is about Capricorns. Be very patient, guys, and be very, um, it's not even mature, but very humble and calm. That is crucial. Uh, so, uh, you know, you don't get ad additionally disappointing here, but do not allow anybody to take you for granted. That is also imperative. And... <clears throat> And the faster you initiate the uh, the phase of confrontation here, the better. Oh, hello, Fatima. Hello. Well, uh, you can have a reading, yes, you can have either a free or private reading. The free reading is done at the end of the stream. Uh, and I take only a several questions. I don't answer every question because I have to stay through all the entire night. <clears throat> and um, you can take your chances there, you know, after I'm done with Pisces, which is two signs off. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, then the audience will start asking questions, I hope. And uh, I will start picking up questions and answering them by drawing one tarot card per question. Or the other way is that you go for a private reading and uh, you can check out my website for it, tarotpredictions.net. It is also written here in the description of this video. And you can choose the surface by your liking. By scrolling down the front page, you are going to see the services and the represented prices for it. So uh, that being said, the next one, Aquarius. Oh, yeah, I know questions before Pisces are going to be considered as well. After Pisces, guys. So, Aquarius is for you. We do have the King of Cups. So, this is uh, your representative, guys. King of Cups is a main topic. And then we do have the Queen of Cups as a challenge. Wow. Okay. So, this is, this is the, game of, uh, the game of mating and the game of dating. 
So what we do have here is two people that are afraid of sharing emotions or the full extent of their emotions uh, because they are afraid of being left hurt. So that being said here, guys, uh, in case you are single, like Lisa is, and you don't have any mates, this is due to the, um, the shyness of maybe that you do have or the person that has an eyes on you have as well. That being said, this week, uh, unfortunately, it is quite unlikely that you may establish a, um, a stable flow of communication with someone with interest. That in case you're single, all right? And in case you don't have a mate. Now, in case you do have someone next to you, this, these cards are pointing for a little bit for, for, for seemingly cold environment. And this is seemingly cold environment because you guys, Aquarius says, um, are not expressing the full extent of your emotions, although your partner wants you to do so. So what's wrong with you? Just open yourself for Christ's sake, all right? So open yourself and you're going to see that your relationship have a lot more, um, a lot more to offer. All right, so my OBS disconnected again. No, oh yeah, it's, it's reconnected. Anyway, so again, open yourself to the person whom you love and experience the full extent of uh, the full extent of, 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 you know, of the blessing to have person who supports you unconditionally because the Queen of Cups, it is such a person supporting you unconditionally. But because it falls into a, a, a negative position or rather a position of challenge, it does speak that this Queen is, is feeling very insecure why she or he, because it could be as well a man, give you that support i mean do you deserve it and by deserving it i don't mean about their material comfort here you can be the richest aquarius in the world well your wife doesn't care about that you need to be rich inside not outside guys nobody cares about how much you have into your bank accounts what cares is how much you have in you have in your heart all right so show what you do have in your heart aquarius is due this week then we do have Six of Pentacles as a past influence and Four of Cups as a future influence. What happens here with the past and the future influence, guys, is that uh, <laughs> you will, Aquarius, is continue on contributing in the same way, I mean materially. And, uh, well, that's a little bit tough, all right? But uh, you may find or kind of like you may start thinking that you are not well appreciated. OK, so the four of cups here points to a, uh, a routine taking place into your relationship. OK, so you are unfolding yourself, let's say that way. And you start getting unconditional support by your wife or a husband or whatever. And uh, this is based on the. On a mutual uh, compromise, four of cups speaks that. Uh, the relationship gets steady routine uh, and um, steady routine in the sense that nothing really is there to surprise you. All right. They, you know what you're going to do tomorrow and everything goes according to plan. And all of this, this looks awesome, you know, so there is nothing that you cannot predict. Sooner or later, uh, you are going to uh, start experiencing boredom. And that boredom can and should be broken and it, it needs more of like a mental activity in order to do so. So what my point here, Aquarius, is, is that in the future, when you start experiencing boredom, guys, uh, you have to uh, be you have to give expression to your crazy ideas. And how do you know he's a sociopath, Jenny? Did he hurt somebody? I mean, physically, kind of like, or intentionally with his decisions. I told you. All right. 
Oh, I don't believe that people people really are sociopaths into a full extent of the world of the world because the sociopath mean emotionless, fearless, someone who is incapable to feel anything. But they do, they do. Uh, they do feel joy when they hurt people, you know. This is also a definition to psychopath. But anyway, I... No, I don't... Well... Well, he fooled you once. Shame on him. Don't allow him to fool you twice, because it's going to be a shame on you. Maybe, you know. But maybe he's telling the truth. It's just he has that twisted way to show it. Anyway, so finally we go to Capricorns. And after, and after words, guys, you do have the chance to ask your questions. Well, Susie, as we said, that is going to be a future influence. And as I said at the start of the stream, future influence is up to the next six months. So five months from now, you may find yourself bored. Who knows? All right, so Pisces. Two of Pentacles is the topic of the week for you guys with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, as a challenges, a Page of Pentacles, I would have said Age of Pentacles. <laughs> Page of Pentacles, guys, is the past influence. And then we do have the Nine of Pentacles. Well, four Pentacles card, four earthly cards. Uh, the Earth in Tarot, the, uh, well, not just in Tarot, but as an element speaks for consolidation, which means that you are going to uh, reach a, a consolidated pattern or rather very strict and predictable and as well established pattern for yourself. Now, this pattern ain't going to be, however, one of a deep love, guys, but it's going to be one of a deep interest. So what happens here with the Two of Pentacles is that it is highly advisable that you don't go with a certain plan during this relation during this week, for to tenth of May. Uh, either you are into a, in a relationship or you are dating with people. Just go day by day or go enterprise by enterprise. Do not plan anything, guys, because plans could be very well ruined here with the Seven of uh, Pentacles. Alistair Crowley, one of the biggest weekends into our modern world, says that the Seven of Pentacles, it's about ruin. And if you see his tarot, which is the Tot tarot, it is exactly what is written beneath the cards. A ruin. All right. All right. Seven of Pentacles. So your plans could be quite ruined during this week. I mean, personal plans, kind of like a, uh, uh, you know, intimate plans. That being said, just go along and just play the game as it as it goes. Go with the current. That's my point. Do not try to fight with the current. What I like to say is that when people fight with the current, they only they only face struggle, nothing else. And you are going backwards on the top of that. All right. So uh, the reason for that is Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles as a past influence does point that you are going that you have experienced some new emotions recently either toward your current partner or toward a person you are seeing it doesn't have to be the one you're dating you know it could be a friend of yours that you are start developing those kind of emotions of bigger a bigger attachment all right so when that starts happening here especially do not plan it out but just give yourself to it completely you know and uh, try to maximize out that particular fateful happiness that is coming into your uh, into your world so let's say that you are the, that you are having you are susan all right and you do have bob for a, a very good friend and a co-worker but lately you are finding out that bob you know you are having that kind of a thrill when you see bob 
going every day at work and uh, today is, th is Thursday all right and let's say that Monday you go to work and Bob say hey do you want to go out for a dinner so what you do is you say yes all right with the two of pentacles you do say yes if you go with a strict plan you will say no and your plan is going to be ruined by something else or the plan of a release is going to bring your um personal life's ruin for the next week so that being said um uh, pisces it will be highly advisable guys to just follow the feelings of your heart or kind of like follow the emotions of your heart which are going to as i said drag you or stray you toward stability into your intimate life what happens at the end here with the nine of pentacles is that you are going to reach a, a point of being carefree or in other words <clears throat> carefree and very uh, confident or in other words spices especially if you're single guys you are gonna catch a, a big fish in your nets so you're going to enthrall somebody very lucrative in the same time very capable with a lot of connections awesome so you will have everything you need in order to be happy i hope you don't waste it out and those who are into a current relationship the nine of pentacles does points for a, a quenching and those who doesn't know what quench is that is a, a blacksmith term when you harden the metal when the metal from a soft piece it becomes a damn sword you know that is capable to uh, cut through everything so yeah you uh, that card is a uh, state of quenching the relationship as i said by you going along with the current when your partner asks you something to do as an enterprise don't say i have other plans you just go and do it if you want that relationship to be quenched if you don't want to be my guest and go with your strict plans for the week and uh, expect nothing else happens so that was for pisces well, Debbie, if you think that way, then you are going to be. So stop thinking that way. Be kind of more positive, you know. And as I said to Lisa, you are going to be alone if you don't go out and start dating people, you know. So start dating people. So, yeah, now you can ask your questions, guys. I will shuffle the cards and draw cards for several of them. One card per question here. And we have our first one, which is Albert Beatrice. Beatrice Arioca, in case you are Italian, Beatrice, I think is the Italian way you say it. Uh, yeah, so uh, will my finances improve by the end or before end of this year? Well, the liberal love life, it's already said for the next week, though. Terry, uh, your finances, uh, bad Beatrice, it's, uh, we do have the two of cups. Your finances will be the very least in a place where you will feel, I cannot say comfortable, but let's say manageable. Now, this card points that someone will give you a hand. For you to improve your finances so it's kind of like it's going to seem like a charity to you now it depends how proud you are now if you put your proud on, pride on the shelf and you take the help then you're going to be well with your finances if you say no then it's going to be just average that kind of a range well karen of course you should start dating again i don't need to draw a tower card on that you want to you want to experience love again don't you Fatima asking is he lying we do have the nine of uh, the nine of wands for you no he ain't lying this is not a card that someone is lying Well, thank you, Kaylee, for your positive uh, vibes. Well received here uh, halfway around the globe in Bulgaria. 
Oh, thank you, Patty. Thank you. All right. So let's focus on the questions now. Um, yeah, Morgan asks, will things work out for me and my Capricorn man? And, well, they will work out for you, Morgan, uh, for what it seems with the Seven of Swords. One way or another, the Seven of Swords is about getting what you deserve and getting what you have been owed. So, uh, I don't know, uh, are you married or not? But if you're married and you go through a divorce, this card shows that you're going to leave that man with nothing, you know. Zero. Zero. Sub-zero. Anyway, the card points that you need to have a little bit more stronger spine or don't uh, budge through his demands or kind of like his threats. If, he tre if he's threatening you... As I said, fight fire with fire. Well, Kaylee says, I'd love to find a man who loves me. I haven't had a, uh, much luck lately. So can I have a card? And a card you do have here, Kaylee, the star card. I will say only one keyword about that card, and it is about unfolding love. Well, maybe I will give you two keywords, unconditional support. So, yeah, you're going to meet someone like that. But, again, start dating. Start dating. It ain't going to happen on its own. Ah, Fatima, only one question per, per person, and because you're new, I intentionally take, take your question. So, yeah, one question per, per person. All right, so let me choose a couple more here. Shelly, a um, time-framed questions are about, like, when are a matter of a whole spread and cannot be answered with just one card so i'm sorry i have to pass your question although it kind of like you know made an impression to me christina rominch i hope i pronounce your name correctly asks will my relationship work very double-edged card as a singular card is what we do have about the world and if I go by a keyword, Christina, I, or if I go by majority of the tarot readers, what they say about the world, I would say, yes, it's going to work out. It's going to be great. Uh, but I cannot tell you that right now. So I will say, I will tell you what the world means. The world means that the deal is sealed, that the um, cycle is over. But you know how you stand and how it's going to go. Nonetheless, the world means that a different perspective is emerging soon after. That being said, Christina, does the person that you are in a relationship with loves you? If you think it doesn't, then he doesn't. Uh, does it worth being into that relationship? If you think it doesn't, then it doesn't. So it's pretty much you know your answer. It is already there. It's just you don't you don't want to believe it for some reason. Will this new person turn into love? People turn into love? Seven of Cups for you, uh, Katie. Seven of Cups does point that it is too early to be said. There is still things that you can do. So either they do or they not. But because we do have the Seven of Cups, it does speak that this is not the last person in your life. So I wouldn't count on it too much based on that card. Well, uh, Christina, if it is if it is about the ups and downs, uh, then uh, the world card says that it's going to stabilize very quickly or soon, you know.
Siobantormai, uh, or I don't know if I'm pronouncing uh, your name correctly. Yes, you can have a card. That will be the Knight of Swords. If this is a person coming in, very tenacious one, the one who fights for the human rights, which means that this is a person who totally have your back. All right. If this isn't the person, then it means you abandoned. Uh, very soon, you have you will have to make very quick decisions uh, and swift one regarding your personal private life. Uh, and when you do so, the card advises you to be uh, to synchronize your logic with your emotions. Uh, yeah, Linda, it will be a good year for Scorpio. I have my personal uh, horoscope and it does seem that this year is going to be awesome for me. Uh, last one, Sarah, will my trip be successful? Uh, Sarah, I don't know what you mean under successful, but we do have the Ten of Pentacles. I hope it is about money or reallocation, Sarah, because yes, it's going to be successful. In that trip, Sarah, you're going to find comfort in that trip. You are going to find independence in that trip. You are going to resolve certain issues. And in that trip, you are going to earn someone's trust. So, yeah, it's going to be very successful. All right. So, uh, pretty much that was uh, the lovely Thursday, guys. I will make it a uh, weekly event, lovely Thursday, and also... Uh, I will think about other event, one more event, all right? So, uh, yeah, at the lovely Thursday, this, these are going to be the free readings here, pretty much one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people had their free reading tonight. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's round it to 10 people. So, couple more. Lydia, will my business prosper Oh, will my business prosper this year? Lydia, uh, eight of wands for you, girl or a woman. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so eight of wands. Uh, the eight of wands, uh, it's a very good card, but it's also a very uh, fast card. Okay, first of all, when the eight of wands comes into a business reading, it is a about taking risks with your creativity. All right. Don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to be creative. Don't be afraid to act upon ideas. Because these ideas are going to start opening you doors, a very small opening, so though, which are going to be quickly slammed. And you have to choose one of them. So what, I, what my prediction based on just that card could be for this year is that your business will have multiple chance, you know, to, um, to prosper. These multiple chance will be created by your own uh, efforts and toils. That being said, if you work very hard and if you are not afraid to take on risks, your business is going to prosper. And last one. Mary. Mary here asks, how will it go if I return to a Gemini? The first thing that came up into my mind, Mary, that will be a child. That will be a child. This is how it's going to go. But nonetheless, it does look like a restart, a brand new relationship. It's kind of like we've been in a brand new relationship, you know. But yeah, a very possible pregnancy is what we do have here with the with the full card. All right. So uh, this was uh, today's uh, live guys and uh for those who didn't have their in, uh, answer quite uh, questions answered uh stay in tune because the next week on the same time which is 2 p.m uh eastern european and 7 uh 2 a.m excuse me eastern european friday and 7 p.m um east coast there will be another lovely thursday uh, in which we are again going to discuss the upcoming week uh, <clears throat> intimate wise for every star signs and at the end we are going to draw a tarot cards for 10 people so they can have their free readings and in case you can't wait until then you don't want to have to take your chances 
you can go to my website and uh, have your private reading there. Uh, by scrolling down the front page, the website is written here um, in the description of this video, guys, or in the post. I will not say it because I sound stupid when I say it. It's just it's ridiculous with my pronunciation. Anyway, so yeah, you can scroll down the front page and you're going to see the services and the uh, <clears throat> representative prices of those services. As soon as purchase goes through, I will contact you almost immediately in, unless I'm not sleeping and uh, <clears throat> and then uh, you know we are going to schedule an appropriate time for both of you for both of us excuse me yeah both of you you and my higher self I guess <laughs> anyway yeah that was a, uh, a <laughs> that was a, a joke you know uh, a little bit of shenanigan anyway so uh, thank you all for watching again uh, it was a, an honor to be your host guys and it was a honor to have you all here uh, you those who support me you those who hate me as well I don't care you know everybody is precious and everybody is different and as I said differences is what makes us special to one another so every single one of you is special to me I hope that I'm special to you and uh, yeah, we are basically going to see each other next time, which is the next Thursday. Uh, the monthlies, even though have been delayed, as you know, my grandma had some health issues and I had to contribute into that. And I have been delayed with the monthlies are already up on my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel will be also announced here in the um, in the in this topic in the description of this video. You can go and check what what is the potential of that month. Again, this is a private readings, guys. These are not your personal readings. What will happen which you can be discussed there? The private reading shows you the options available and the kind of like, um, you know, the energies you can capitalize on due either the month, the week. Um, it's kind of, it kind of baffles me how people ex expect that when they go to a... a channel it doesn't matter what channel you know mine or somebody else's and they click their star, star sign and they expect to hear what is going on with their lives this will not gonna happen well it's gonna it's, it is gonna happen for example if you do have you know a lot of transits going on with your personal planets and these kind of stuff but not every time you know you can't expect that and after all nobody can cover up the global population with five card per star sign etc etc so yeah what you, when you want to know what is going on specifically with you you go to a private reading uh, to an, an astrologer to numerologist and or an oracle reader tarot reader etc etc so yeah basically uh, these are my thoughts on that and again if you choose me you need to know that when you come for a reading i tell you what i see i don't hold your hand because for me truth is only one way to say it because there is only one truth to be said that being said guys uh, yeah i will go and pass out on my bed right now and again thank you all for watching see you next time bye